Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. Today I wanted to do a general forecast for 2019. However, I've been trying to do this for a few weeks now and I receive a lot of resistance uh, in, in, in doing this and in delivering this. And so I've decided today to just look at the next three months. And you have five options, so you may choose either one, two, three, four or five. And you go directly down to the description box below where you'll find your timestamp. And I'm going to go ahead and use these Russian um, cards. They are gypsy cards. Um, they are referred to as the as passions as well. And I'm going to do a reading in which we look at what is to be expected within the next three months. So what can we see? What will come up? And um these readings uh, hold what is negative as well as what's positive ahead for you. And so, yes, we have five options and we are looking at the next three months. Please make a selection and go directly to your reading. Thank you. So for those of you who've chosen the first option, which is option number one, we are asking, what do we expect? Uh, what can we expect in the next three months? And I'm just going to uh, give the cards a quick shuffle. And then I'm going to lay them out um, and we are going to read them. Okay, so here we have the layout of the cards after I've shuffled them. And what we're going to look for are matches. And the first match that we have is right at the beginning here. We have a pig in the upright position. And a pig in this context is luck, okay? And so we're looking at good luck. So I'm also going to look at uh, if there are any other options here and what else I can read from these cards. So here there is the... Um, the coffin, okay, and there's the coffin here as well, or the hearse, I think it's called. And so we, we can actually join these. Uh, I'm going to see if we can do that. And here, we have it here. So we can, we are allowed to turn these cards around and uh, to see if there we can um, get a match, okay? And so we have a match here. And this is the hearse. Here we also have a um, an angel. And... That's the other part of the angel. And we have the book as well. Wow, you have amazing. This is amazing. You actually have a lot of um, a lot of combinations here, even though I didn't see that at the, at the beginning. There's the tree. Um, here there is the dog uh, on here, but and this dog here. But we can match these because they're not against each other. So it doesn't actually work. And here we have a house as well that joins together. Okay. So here we have basically the book which is facing uh, in this direction. And we have the, the coffin here, uh, which is facing in this direction as well. We have the pig, which is in the upright position. We have the, the trees, which are in the upright position. And we then have the house, which is uh, lying down in, that other in another position as well. And we have the option of uh, having the letter as well, so to say, like this. All right. So we have the letter in that option as well here. So I'm just going to go ahead and read the meanings for you as it stands. So we begin with the pig. And the pig has a period of influence of immediate to middle, and it's a symbol for earthly pleasures. And in the position at which it's at, at standing, in this upright position, it signifies a positively a pos prosperous and happy year. So 
The general meaning of the pig is that it's a symbol of prosperity. And in the past, it was the rich farmer who had the pigs. And owning pigs was, um, you know, a guarantee of a steady supply of food. And um, so the picture itself suggests material wealth, plenty to eat, contentment, and earthly pleasures, and a life free of strife and worry. And in the position at which it stands, it's positively a prosperous and happy year. And um, the, pit, the picture in this position is always welcome as it indicates a good year for you. And it doesn't necessarily mean that you will get rich suddenly, but rather it means that you will be very uh, comfortable within your present circumstances and that you will not have difficulties with uh, finances or um, that life will be easier and more comfortable and free of um, any major economic problems. So moving on, um, the one below that we have is the hearse. Now the hearse is... Um, you know, one never likes to see the hearse lining up here, but it isn't always a negative meaning, or not completely. And um, in the position in which it's it's standing, or the in which it's facing, it's not exactly as negative as it could be in other positions. And so the period of influence is once again immediate to middle, and usually it's a symbol um, for danger to physical or emotional um, well-being, or, or this one's physical or emotional state. The the picture in here, yeah, it, it looks frightening and it looks, you know, not, it doesn't look very nice, but it doesn't mean that any, like something like death is imminent. Um, it, it doesn't necessarily speak of the option of death, although it could potentially be that under very rare circumstances. Um, yeah, but in, in your situation, uh, or in, in the, those of you who've chosen this option, here it talks about a loss of a particular condition, although just a temporary a loss. Yeah, and so this is not really um, a negative thing necessarily. You might have uh, a feeling of total helplessness or not knowing what to do. Uh, you might have a kind of emotional upheaval that's left you uh, unstable or off balance, but. Um, this is not necessarily something that is uh, that impacts you negatively on the long term. It's necessary for you to feel this way due to something that's come about in your life at a particular moment, and it's a normal reaction, and it's not something that will stay with you and will control you, um, and it's not something that will bring you harm in the longer term. So what, what, what it says in the book is that... Um, the emotional upheaval may have been brought about uh, by death in the family, a loss of job, finding out your spouse is unfaithful, children rebelling, or not knowing what to do next in, in your life. And so th that is quite a long, uh, wide range of options. And obviously that impacts one in a very negative way. Um, or well, not negative, but one may think that it, it impacts you in a very negative way. But um, what I want to say is that the explanations as I'm reading them from this book is not really um, it it goes back to a particular um, time in which readings were spoken of in the in these ways and it, it doesn't have that much of nuance and it also doesn't have uh, a great deal of uh, of real understanding about what it is that is going on and uh, we don't read in these ways anymore and we look at situations in a far more complex manner and we look at the emotional well-being of a person and in, in you know we take all of that into account and um yeah so this could just be that you just don't know what's going on or you just don't know what to do or you you just don't know how to proceed in your life at this moment or, or it could be something that's happened that really upsets you um but the positive aspect of this card in this position is that it's just a temporary state. And when you look at the situation more carefully, you'll realize that it's it's not of your doing and that you can't change the situation, um, but you can simply endure it. And it's not something that you have brought about, really. It impacts you from the outside. And that, you know, that all of us have difficult situations at times. And this is something that you just need to work through or get through it. And it's really useful to constantly remember that the situation is temporary and uh, that you can live through it with a minimum amount of damage to your health or your emotional well-being and so yes that is the meaning basically um, for the for the hearse in this particular position 
So moving on to the angel, the angel's period of influence is the middle. So we are asking for the next three months. So whenever you access this reading, the next three months ahead, uh, in the middle of these three months, you will have the angel. And the angel is a symbol for a, a guardian angel helping you. And the meaning in the position at which it stands, which is this kind of upright position uh, with the arrow face downwards, it is a bright wished for happiness that awaits you. And um, it basically talks of d a bright desired happiness or good fortune that awaits you, that you will have success in whatever you're pursuing, that this can be a joy of triumph or the attainment of a goal that you've been working towards. You know, perhaps you've, you know, you've run your first marathon or you've, you've achieved something, you've, you've, you've set your, your heart out to do something and you've achieved it. And then you have this feeling of, this, of glory or this feeling of having a victory but also having a feeling this this gratitude for a divine power that assisted you along the way and you know it could also just mean a simple joy it doesn't mean that you've attained something necessarily but generally this is a happiness of the spirit and um, it can be it's not really necessarily happy happiness of something of a possession of something or a happiness due to financial or material well-being but rather just happiness of the spirit. And the important thing is to enjoy the good fortune and to celebrate uh, the success. And so that is the meaning of the angel in this particular context. So moving on to the book. And so the book that lies in this position uh, is referring to something in the short term, and it's a symbol for secret news. And in this position, it talks about a secret entrusted to you that will be disclosed. So basically, this is something of a warning, that something that you've been told by someone else, perhaps, something that should have been a secret will be disclosed and it would be made public, and that this is the exchange of knowledge and information that is ever-changing, and that um, it's a warning to be honest in your dealings. It's a warning to be upfront um, because secrets may be disclosed at this moment. And this does not necessarily mean that you will have, uh, you will lose a friend or a confidant, but that it's necessary for you to recognize that any secrets that you um, try to keep in this moment will come to the fore. So as I pointed out to you before, we can adjust the spread in order to be able to connect the letter, which is right above here um, where the pig is, uh, next to the pig. And if we do that, uh, we consider the letter, then the letter is actually the period of influence of which uh, is immediate to short, and it's a symbol for news from a distance. And the angle at which it's lying is that it says that happiness will come to you from far away. And so... Basically, it's it's this you know that's pretty self-explanatory that you might um, come across a letter or a tell um, you know um, a phone call or um, a text message uh, or an email from far away from someone that uh, you haven't heard from in a long time, and this is a message that will make you happy. It'll make you feel good, and if you've made an application for something that's abroad or at a distance, then you would likely receive um, a happy outcome. And um, it, this could also mean that news will come to you regarding someone else who is close to you, who you care about. But something good is happening um, in either your life or somebody close, close to you. And this is happy news that you're receiving. So next we're moving on to the forest, which I mentioned earlier. I call it the trees, but it's actually called the forest. And the period of influence for the forest is actually the middle. So once again, if we're looking at a three-month period, then it will be, you know, six weeks from the time at which you look at this. And the trees or the forest refers to the people around you. And the position in which it actually um, exists, it says that it's a continuous friendship with many worthwhile people. And so it, it basically talks to you uh, about the fact that, you know, a forest may have various um, animals in it or parasites or forces of nature that may actually be of harm to you. But in fact, during this period, you will have worthwhile people. You will have kind influences upon you. And 
it's the card tells you that you may have made friends with people who are of good character, that they are a good influence in your life, and that your shared interests will be a support and an inspiration to you, and that people include those which you work with or live with or have as friends will in fact be um, a source of happiness or joy or fun. Uh, you could spend time with them which would be fun. It can also appear when uh, you're in a transition and you're moving from one stage of life to another. And this is also uh, showing you that you have strong bonds which you have created and will, will remain despite the changes that you may have. So your friends are not frivolous and these have not been frivolous encounters. And uh, so just, I think, yeah, that's the meaning for the trees. And then we're moving on to the house. And the house is in a position um, which is lying on its side. So the period of influence for the house is also immediate to middle. And I find this quite interesting because all the combinations that we have here are either immediate or middle and or immediate to middle. And we are asking for a three-month period, uh, which is, uh, yeah, I, f I quite like the synchronicity. And the house is a symbol for household or business affairs. And the angle at which it lies tells us that the right step will bring you success. And so this is like, um, it's almost as if it's a riddle. Yeah, how do you know what the right step is? But it, the, what it speaks of is that this is the time in which to examine your options carefully and to go with one which seems correct to you and that the answer is within you and you only need to learn to focus on the problem and listen to your own instincts for the answer and not get frazzled or not feel overwhelmed and not be pulled in different directions uh, from outside influences, but rather to go within you and understand what it is that you do, truly desire and what it is that you truly believe. So usually the instinct just comes once and then, um, you know, the rational mind takes over and begins to um, play the devil's advocate, so to say. And the, but, but this card is in this position is basically asking you to um, serve your instinct in this situation. And go forth with your unique ideas, no matter how far they may seem to the average observer. And, you know, remember that new ideas are often met with suspicion and opposition. But just go ahead anyway, because the right step in this position will bring you success. And so that brings me to the close of those of you who've chosen the first option. And I find this to be a really positive uh, reading. It's very rare that I do these, um, I use these cards for a client or uh, for myself, and I find such a positive outcome. Usually it's a balance of negative and positive, but here you've just had one um, negative card. It wasn't really, the hearse uh, is not really a negative card in the, in the way in which it, it lies, but rather it speaks of something, you know, a temporary problem that you will easily overcome and at, you know, it definitely has an end and the problem would be resolved. So I think that um, this has in fact been, um, a really great reading and it looks like the the next three months is going to be quite interesting for you you've been you have you know quite a lot of contentment and financial well-being and you know you have protection from the divine forces um you are just advised to be honest and uh, in your dealings as well as to be and you know not to try to hide anything because it will come to the fore and you're also advised to um to listen to your instinct and take action upon your instinct and um, that you know you can trust your friends and you can actually trust those around you but still to listen to your instinct and I think this is actually a lovely reading that you have so I'm going to go on to the I'm going to move on now to the next um, a deck of cards and I thank you for coming by and I thank you also for actually um, trusting and for uh, subscribing and I'm wishing you a fantastic three months ahead. So for those of you who've chosen the option two, we're going to give the cards a quick shuffle and we're going to lay them out.
So here we have our cards and what we need to look for are combinations. And here we have a combination, it looks like the dog. And we must take note that it lies on its side and it points to the right because the angle at which it points out is significant. And here we have the bread and look, it also lies on its side and it faces to the right. You have the arrows here. Um, what else do we have before us? Here we have the angel again. We have had it in one of the other readings as well. Then we have a ship here. So basically in this one we have the bread here. Yeah. We have also the ship here and we have the angel that's right here. We have also the dog that's here. So let's begin with the bread right at the top here. So the bread is the number 50 and the period of influence is middle. And so we are looking at the next three months and so the middle would be six weeks from now. And the bread is a symbol for happiness. And the angle at which it uh, faces, it faces right, right, the arrow faces right, it lies on its side. And so um, that, that means that um, there would be profit and happiness in the house and success in business affairs. So that, that is what it, the meaning is in that particular angle. So I'm just going to read um, for you from the book. Um, yeah, I'm just going to read the, the explanation for you from the book itself. So it says, um, this is a wonderful picture to get, especially if you're doing a reading for the year to come. The picture tells you everything is going great for you. Financially, you're well off. You might not be as rich as people we see on TV, but you're happy with what you have. You have enough to give you a contented sense of well-being. The picture also implies that everyone else in your home is favored as well, thus creating a cheerful, harmonious household. The picture tells you also that you have a success that you have success in business. If you have a business, then it's doing very well. Profits are coming in. It is a good time to expand or try new ventures as they will meet with success. For those who are working for someone else, it is also good uh, sorry, it is also a favorite time. This is a good time to seek promotions, suggest new ideas, or generally be in the public eye. Whatever business venture you begin now will meet with success. And so that's yeah, that's a pretty positive card uh, here that you have with the bread card. Let's move on to the angel. The angel is the number 37 and the period of influence is the middle. So once again, the next six weeks or so. And the angel is a symbol for the guardian angel that's helping you. And it is lying with the arrow pointing to the left. And so the meaning as it lies in this direction is love and tenderness will comfort you. And I'm just going to go ahead and read from the book once again. It says, the picture reminds you that you are loved even though you may be experiencing problems in your life. Quite often the picture comes up when you have other pictures indicating disappointment. The angel gently reminds you to expand your vision, look beyond your problem. You may have problems in one aspect of your life, yet you are fortunate in having someone who will soothe your hurts. The picture may also come up for someone who is acting in negative ways. You may be caught up in a situation where you are lying, cheating, drinking too much, or generally doing something negative. Yet the people close to you still love you and are willing to comfort you. Look around and see who's offering love and comfort that you need right now. So there is meaning here for the angel. Um, and let's we move on to the dog. So the dog is also lying and it's, the arrow is facing right. And the period of influence for the dog is middle to life and it's a symbol for relationships with friends. And the meaning in that particular position is the help of friends will support you. And I'm going to go ahead again and read from the book. It says, you will have friends whom you can rely on. When going through life's difficult moments, we have friends who are willing to help us and we should allow them to do so. Not all people are good, but when you get this picture, you know 
the people around you can be depended upon and trusted. Okay, so it says the word friend is interesting. Sometimes we get the greatest support from people whom we don't even consider as close friends. For example, during a difficult time in your life, a friend of your spouse's may somehow sense your trouble and by inviting you out to social gatherings help you get through your immediate crisis. The death of someone in your family usually brings out unexpected support from friends. A friend may bring over a pie or some other food, knowing that cooking is not on your mind at that time, yet it is necessary to eat to maintain strength. So I'm just going to uh, interject here. That's just an example. This card by no means means that there will be a death in the family. Uh, it just means that people are there at your side when you need them. Um, and I'm going on to read. You might even hear from friends that you haven't seen from, uh, seen for a long time. The fact is that there are always people out there who care for you. This picture is always welcome as it reminds you that you're not alone in this big world. The Russian proverb says, better to have a hundred friends than a hundred rubles. Okay, and so that was the meaning of the dog in this particular situation. And I'm going to go ahead and read the long meaning here for the combination that you have of the ship. And the period of influence here is the middle. And the ship is the symbol for finances and for adventure. And the ship is pointing to the left, which is uh, referring to travel. So this picture indicates that it's a favorable time to make a trip. Generally, it refers to distant places, not just weekend jaunts. And if you've already planned a trip and this picture comes up, it means that things will go smoothly during your travels and you will have a good time. So ultimately, the meaning as it stands right here tells you that it's a good time to travel in the next three months, uh, that you will have friends at your side, that you will have angelic or divine help in when you need it, and that you will also um, have goodness in your life. You will have contentment in your life. And I think it's generally a very a good um, reading. I think it's also... Um, a little bit sobering in a sense. It's not jumping for joy, so to say, but it's telling you that things are going to be well, things are going to be okay, and that you can go forth in the next few months. And it's, you know, you're not going to have huge um, difficulties in your life. And if you do, you are going to have the support that you need. So I'd like to wish you well. And I know I've just written, I've just read from that book there, and I haven't actually uh, channeled anything for you, but I feel that. Um, there's not much more I need to say about this at this moment. And so I'm wishing you very well and go forth and go ahead and um, make your dreams come true. Yeah. So for those of you who've chosen option three, we want to see what can we expect in the next three months. And I'm going to give these cards a little shuffle and, and then I'm going to lay it down and we're going to take a quick look. And so we're going to look at what matches, okay? So the first thing I see that matches here is this clover. And then the stars. And here the horseshoe. It is important to note the angle at which they lie, as this has meaning as well. So the stars are facing, um, well, they're lying in this direction, facing that way, whereas the horseshoe is facing uh, in the upright, it's in the upright position, it's facing downward. Um, and so, well, the, the arrow here faces downward. So let me see if I can bring that up to you here, right? And then, and so... The way in which these cards are read is that they read in terms of their position and usually they're not read in terms of anything else. Uh, but I read them the traditional way as well as um, my own way, uh, which is, you know, I bring in a clairvoyant insight and I look at what um, the combination of cards have to, to say, okay, what, what they mean um, and what they mean to me. So I'll be doing a little bit of both today. Here the bread also combines with each other and we can see here that there could be another combination 
both these demons here. And we can actually use both definitions or both meanings. So if we put these two cards together, we have these demons here and the arrow points upright. And uh, yeah, and then that doesn't mean that the spread option is not uh, available. The meaning, both meanings are applicable in this case. And uh, you can read it in any order that you'd like. So I'm going to go ahead and start um, and getting start going to the meanings. And let's begin with the demons, since we have them here. They are the number 47. And they are, the period of influence is short. So, you know, in the, in not immediate, but perhaps in the near future. And it's a symbol for subconscious negative thoughts. And the meaning in the position at which these demons lie is um, your fervor will not lead to any good. And that is the explanation from the book itself. And basically, I uh, will read from the book um, so that you have an idea of what the meaning directly is. It says, your fervor, eagerness, enthusiasm, or hysterics will not bring any good. If you're faced with a problem, deal with it in a rational way. Do not fall prey to irrational, frenzied activity that leads nowhere. So, it says, beware especially of negative statements that you may be making, and that you may have the right to be angry, but you should you know, restrain your verbal lashings and that problems can be resolved, but bitter words will be remembered. And basically it talks about a situation which is, it's not really like harm but will before you, um, but rather that you could bring harm onto yourself by rash action that you may take. So I'm going to move on now and uh, we'll move to the horseshoe. And the horseshoe is the number 28, and the period of influence is the middle. And the horseshoe is a symbol for success. And the horseshoe is, um, the, the arrow is pointing downward. And the meaning in this position means that, is that um, good fortune awaits you. So it says that uh, good fortune or great success awaits you. If during the reading you are asked how a certain idea or proposal of yours will do, and you get this picture in this position, you will know you've met uh, with success. This could be a job you're applying for, a promotion you've been pushing for, a bid to purchase something, a thesis submission, or an idea that you want to pursue. The signal is a green light. Go ahead with your plans, as they will meet with approval and be successful. The period of influence is of middle, middle uh, duration, which means the effects will last anywhere from a few days to a few years. You will be successful, but only to a degree that you've put effort into it. Don't just sit back and wish for success. Do something to get it. So, um, yeah, it continues to say that your ideas and efforts will be worthwhile and will meet with great success if you pursue them. And don't be afraid of ideas that seem different or innovative. So just my take on this is that I feel that this card is, uh, speaks about luck that you will have in general over this time. I think it's not just luck um, that you will receive or not just that you can look forward to, um, you know, having success in the future or in the, in the near future. And we looked at the period of influence, which is like middle. And I would say that is the middle of the next three months um, that from which from the time of which you are watching this video, because we've just asked we haven't asked an open ended question, you know, about what it will be in your life. So we ask a question within a particular time period. And so in the middle of this time period is when you are likely to uh, have this type of success coming your way. So one of the other combinations we have here are the stars and they, the arrow of the stars point to the right and the period of influence for the stars are short to life. So it's a symbol for destiny influencing your life and it talks again about success in dealings here and it says that a heavenly body is working for you making your deal succeed and I think what it talks about what it really means is that the astrological influences that are in your life at the moment are supportive of your efforts and this also refers to everyday matters in your life or whatever you be pursuing will be met with success and it could be that your goals in life are becoming reality or that you're fulfilling chapters in your life which will ultimately lead you to your goal 
So that's a really short message from the book, and it's actually, you know, it coincide, coincides with the horse um, message. And I think really what we are looking at here is not letting your own thoughts, because the, um, the demons represent your own thoughts that come in the way of you achieving your success. So if you could manage that, then you the, the path ahead is open for you, and you can have the success that you crave and you, that you desire in your life. So some one of the other combinations that we have here is also the clover, which is also uh, a symbol for luck. And the period of influence is middle. So I say once again, it would be middle in the middle of the three-month period that we're looking at from the time at which you've accessed this reading. And the clover leans to the right again. And the meaning of the card in that position is that happiness slightly clouded by a misunderstanding. Okay, so I'm going to read uh, briefly from the book here. It says that happiness is the ultimate good, but you can't, but it can't be achieved by itself. We get it from having health, wealth, knowledge, friendship, and virtue. The achieving of any one of these leads to happiness. But if we pursue only one aspect, such as health, and not the others, then we cannot attain happiness. What are you doing that is, that is preventing you from being totally happy? Are you devoting too much time to your work and neglecting your family? Are you forgetting to communicate with people around you? Are you obsessed with a problem that can be resolved by simply asking a question? Whatever misunderstanding exists, it, it should be fairly easy to solve as the clover bring, picture brings luck to it. So once again, I have the inclination to say that here you have a lot that is working in your favor and you have all the luck, but I feel that the only thing that's getting in your way in the next few months is actually yourself, that you are the one that can get in, in the way of yourself here. And the last combination we have here is the bread. And the bread is a symbol for happiness. And it's lying in a position in which the arrow points upright. And the period of the influence is middle. And, I, and it basically means once again, um, the next few months, you know, in the middle of the next few months. And in that position, it means Having received something yourself, do not forget those surrounding you. And I'm just going to read the message on the book and then I will continue. So here it says, having received something yourself, do not forget those surrounding you. The picture is a gentle reminder to share your fortune with others. Having received a raise, don't forget to give some to charitable organizations. Having received a present, send a thank you card so that the giver is also made happy. If receiving letters or phone calls from your friends makes you happy, then give back some of the joy by writing or phoning them yourself. In our busy everyday life, we often forget the niceties of the old, reciprocating for what we have received. Yet a debt paid is happiness. Besides, what a wonderful circle we can create. Someone does something nice for us, and we in turn make them happy by responding, and they are more likely to do something nice again. The circle can continue indefinitely, bringing happiness and goodwill to everyone concerned. Generosity, even on the smallest scale, has far-reaching results. So it, it gives another Russian proverb here. It says, if everyone gives a thread, the naked one will have a shirt. Do your share of giving in some way. And I feel here with the combination of cards and the luck that's coming your way, um, this, this message is basically saying to you, well, you know, when you are, when you have actually achieved what you are heading towards, or what you're working towards, uh, when you have actually cleared your mind and you have actually decided not to let your your fears or your anxieties or your paranoia come into the way of what it is that you'd like to achieve, and you have been successful in achieving what you need, then w why not share that with others? Why not be consciously sharing that? Why not consciously share your fortunes? Uh, just in order to create the balance in your life. And I, I think, once again, this has been a really nice reading here for those of you who have chosen this option, as there seem to be a lot of goodness coming into your life. And I, I apologize for the hammering um, that you might hear in the background. My neighbor has just decided to start doing some construction work. Okay, and uh, I thank you very much once again for coming by, and I hope this resonates with you. And yeah, if you feel like it, come back after three months. Let me know how it worked out for you. All right, so all the best to you and blessings abound.
So here we have the fourth option. And for those of you who've chosen this one, the question we're asking is, what do we see in the next three months? What's coming for us in the next couple of months, next few months? And what is it that we need to be warned of? And what can we expect? And I'm just giving these cards a shuffle. And I'm going to lay them out now. And then we're going to look at what they have to say. So I'm just going to speed this up for us. So here's our spread for those of you who have chosen the option number four. And how we read these cards is first we find matches. We see where one picture corresponds to another. And depending on what the correspondences are, we gain meanings from each of these photos that we've found. So here's one right now. I see that this lobster um, comes together in this way. And we note here that the arrow uh, is pointing downward, and that's significant for the meaning. Um, so each picture that comes together has a meaning, and um, depending on which, arrow, which way the arrow is pointing, it also has a significance. And I'm seeing here um, there is also, um, yeah, there it is. So this is the, um, this apple, this apple, if we turn around like that, then um, we, they correspond to each other. So we allow to do this in the spread. We allow to find these correspondences. And once again, we need to note uh, in which way the the arrow is pointing, and um, and then of course the apple also has its significance. So we're just looking around again for um, to see what else we can find here. Sometimes it's not as simple to find something, but um, there we are. Right. So there's a fox that we found, and uh, if we turn this around here. This fox is facing in the other direction. And once again, it's significant the way in which the fox is facing here. And so we are just looking about to see if we find any other correspondences here. And here we have two parts of a snake. And if we turn this around to face this way and the other to face in this direction, we have the complete picture of the snake here. And once again, it's important to note the direction in which it's pointing to. Towards, I mean. And so, um, looking at the spread, we need to identify that we have the apple, we have the snake, we have the fox here, we have the lobster, and... We, are, ha, we have, um, let's see, it looks like we have the horse right here. So if we turn this around like that, and we move this in this direction, we have the complete picture of the horse. And once again, it's important to note the direction in which it's pointing. It's pointing to the right. So looking at the spread, what we have is this lobster that's facing downward. We have the apple here that's facing left. We have the fox that's facing, uh, the arrow is facing to the top. And we have the snake which is facing right as well as the horse that is facing right. So I'm going to go into the guidebook uh, that comes with this um, set of cards and I'm going to read you the explanations as set out in the guidebook and then I'm going to uh, give you my own take on, on the spread. The way I see it at the moment, we have some good uh, cards and some cards that are not uh, the best and um, well they have different meanings and it's a kind of balanced spread but let's just go into it immediately. And I'm gonna start with I'm gonna start with the apple, alright? So we have the apple which is facing to the left and the apple signifies a period of influence which is immediate and it's a symbol for encounter and when it's facing to the when the arrow is facing to the left uh, it is an unpleasant meeting or encounter 
so the meaning as it set out in the in the guidebook is uh, it states that this could be an unpleasant conversation or lack of one with the sales clerk, a run-in with your neighbor, or an upsetting meeting with your former lover. Sometimes people are so absorbed in their own problems or so genuinely busy that they present an abrasive side of their nature. Any encounter with them is unpleasant and may make your blood pressure go up. This is a wrong reaction. We should acknowledge that the problem is with the other person and not let his or her bad attitude affect us. It only takes one bad apple. Give him or her a big smile and proceed with your business. Follow the Russian proverb, don't listen with your ears, but with your feet. In other words, if you don't like what's being said, leave. So here, uh, I think the explanation is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, there is, There might be, within the next few months, uh, from the time in which you ex access this reading, an encounter that leaves you questioning, or an encounter that leaves you a bit troubled. And uh, this is something to be expected. And the warning is that, well, it's here for you. So let's not, um, le yeah, let's not be bothered by it. Let's take heed uh, that it's coming and be prepared for it. So that when it does actually happen, that you can actually uh, depart from it and not let it trouble you. Okay. So I'm going to move on to the snake, which is not so far away from this apple. And the snake is facing um, to the right. The snake is facing to the right. So the snake has a period of influence which is immediate to middle. And it's a symbol for an attack by someone. And when it's facing right, um, it, it signifies a betrayal or unfaithfulness. And basically, um, the reading, the the uh, the um, meaning in the guidebook um, states that betrayal, unfaithfulness, treachery, treason. Uh, if you are doing a reading to find out if someone is being unfaithful and the picture comes up in this position, then you can be sure that it is happening. The picture may also be a warning to those who don't suspect anything. Conversely, if you suspect unfaithfulness and the picture doesn't come up, then your suspicions are wrong. Over the years, I found the picture to be quite accurate in revealing adulterous behavior. However, the picture is ambiguous in that it does not say which partner is being unfaithful. Only the person for whom the reading is being done knows which partner is being unfaithful. If the picture does not refer to sexual betrayal, then it could refer to anyone around you. There is a serpent in your environs who is leading you astray. It may be someone you don't even suspect. The Russian proverb warns, in deep, still pools of water, devils breed. A person may appear quiet and pleasant, but inside may be seething with anger, jealousy, or desire. Be on the lookout for a betrayal. Read all documents carefully before signing. Avoid taking chances with the law, and don't leave yourself vulnerable to being deceived. So basically, this card in this, possession, in this position warns you that you are a little bit more vulnerable right now than you would be normally. And it asks you to be aware of that and to be observant. So basically, not, don't look out for betrayal in the, in the way that you would be expecting it, but simply keep some information to yourself. You know, uh, don't necessarily boast or um, give away too much information about yourself to others as you may leave yourself open to uh, jealousy by another or some kind of envy that may impact you negatively and um, you know the betrayal unfaithfulness doesn't need to occur in a, in a very overt manner it doesn't need to mean that somebody is is uh, working against you overtly it might just be that they have a negative feeling uh, with regard to you or they feel not as um, lucky as you are but this may impact itself or may um, um, uh, play itself out as being unpleasant to you 
So let's see if we move on to some of the more positive uh, cards in uh, this meaning in this deck here. We also have um, the horse here. And so the horse is pointing right, and the horse has an immediate uh, period of influence. And the symbol is for emotional upheaval. And uh, I'm not really sure if this is going to be positive or not, but I'm going to go ahead and read you the meaning. So uh, the horse is pointing right, and in that position it says that the outward appearance and beauty will turn your head. So it says that this can most certainly refer to a romantic interest. You will meet someone whose beauty or handsomeness will appeal to you. You will throw caution aside. If there are no other pictures warning you of danger, then enjoy the situation for what it is. However, pay heed to the Russian proverb, love is blind. You can even fall in love with a goat. Perhaps you seek an, a second opinion from a friend before plunging headlong into a relationship with this new exquisite being. The picture can also refer to other things that you are attracted to for outward appearance, such as a racehorse you want to bet on or a house you want to buy. The picture doesn't t tell you that it is bad to be emotionally drawn to beautiful, th sorry, to beautiful things. It just tells you to be aware that you are more emotional than rational at this stage. So here I think uh, that we have this meaning of the horse. Um, and it tells you that basically you might be, you might find yourself swayed. But I think because we have the this, this snake as well as uh, the uh, apple in that position, we need to be aware of what may be lurking um, behind this person that may sway you or this person that may be of interest to you. So I'm going to go ahead and read the information of the, what I've said before was the lobster. It's actually the crayfish. Uh, apologies for that. So it's the number 43. It's the crayfish. And the period of influence is uh, short to life. So this is something that can impact you, not just in the short-term basis in these next three months, but over a lifetime. And the symbol is learning to cope with fate. The lobster is, uh, or is, sorry, the crayfish is pointing downward. And the meaning in this position is having made too bold a step, you'll back off. Okay, so it says, having made too bold a step, you'll back off. The picture usually comes up in this position when you have more than one way of dealing with the situation. For example, you need to travel to a destination. Should you drive or take the plane? You want to to take the car because it will give you more freedom. But if you take the plane, you will be more rested and lose fewer working days. Your emotions take over and you decide to drive. You make all the arrangements, but at the last moment, reason takes over and you back down. When the picture comes up in this position, it usually indicates that you're not really ready to make the move or that fate doesn't want you to make this move at this time. The picture can refer to major moves such as immigrating to a new country or minor ones like deciding not to go on a date with a new friend. Whatever the step is that you have to back off from, you should not feel guilty as this is simply not the right time for your action. So all these cards are kind of um, weaving a story here. You know, it talks about being meeting somebody and being swayed and being interested in them, perhaps a romantic meeting choosing to perhaps go out of them, but then deciding that you you it would rather not be it would not be wise to do so, or perhaps planning a getaway with them, but then deciding not to do that, just rather to go out with them for an evening. Uh, because there there are warnings here as well. And so the last card we have is the fox. Okay, and the fox is the number 14. And the period of influence is short. And the fox is the symbol for deceit. And it's pointing in an upward direction. And when it's pointing in this direction, it says, be careful not to feel unwarranted trust towards some people. And it's uh, the meaning from the guidebook reads, don't be too trustful with some people around you. This broadens the circle of people from that referred to by the picture in the previous position. The picture could be warning you against someone in your family or your workplace, 
among your business acquaintances or even your neighbor. It is not much danger that you have to be aware of as it is deceit. You will have to look at other pictures in the reading to see what kind of loss you may suffer, emotional, monetary, or business. As mentioned previously for this picture, when you get it, be very careful of information you may divulge. The picture can also refer to information that you divulge to your boss or government officials. You should not lie, but you don't have to divulge, to divulge more than is necessary. Remember that it's, it is the job of officials to catch people on technicalities, so don't place unwarranted trust in everyone at this time. If you are starting a business, you should be particularly careful in what you're doing, as there are hidden dangers. So this particular spread has pointed out all the hidden dangers and all the caution that you must take. It's, pre it's pretty much a warning for uh, how you could or how you should uh, conduct yourself in the next few months. And it gives many warnings and um, in terms of w how you may be betrayed or how you may be deceived or how you may, um, uh, yeah, how you may come into some problems. And so it tells you not to get too swept away in a, in a particular situation, not to get too carried away with some idea that you have or with some particular person or with some plans that you have. Proceed with caution. And uh, as this would be, um, it would work in your favor because if you proceed with caution, then you will be able to see uh, and observe what's actually going on around you and um, rather than when you're very excited about something and you're in your own head and you you're just experiencing these heightened emotions you actually don't really see what's going on around you and you can't really perceive how other people are feeling about you and but if you're simply more observant and more grounded during this time then you will perceive how others are responding to you and you will be able to gauge the temperature of particular situations and know how to act accordingly. So this is quite a, this spread is quite different from the others that we've done so far and it actually has a, quite a different feeling to it. It has a feeling of uh, more of warnings and, and even when the cards are positive, they're also advising you to be cautious as you go ahead. And I don't think it's anything too serious, you know. It's not about big things. It's not like you're in danger or you are, uh, there's ill health coming your way or uh, there's a death of a, of a family member or something like this. It's nothing negative like that. But it's simply saying, be aware of technicalities. Don't get swept away in a romantic, uh, um, in romantic gestures. And, and don't, uh, just be cautious as you move ahead. Um and take time to observe what actually is going on around you, as this will be in your benefit in the upcoming months. And so uh, this was pretty much the spread uh, here uh, for those of you who've chosen this fourth option. And um, yeah, I hope that's been helpful for you. Uh, this could be, this is not particularly what one wants to hear when one comes to a reading when you're looking ahead for the next three months. But I do believe that uh, these type of warnings are necessary to avoid difficulties that could compound and be more problematic later on. So hopefully this kind of information does um, assist you in not uh, coming into uh, further problems as you go ahead. And um, yeah, do let me know how this pans out for you and if this type of information has helped you as you go ahead in the next three months. And um, yeah, I hope this has been helpful for you and I'm wishing you uh, a wonderful uh, three months ahead. And thank you very much for coming by and watching this uh, reading. So for those of you who've chosen the fifth option, the question we're asking is, what can those of you who've chosen the option five expect in the next three months? And so we begin. So the way in which we read these cards are to be able to find a match. Like here, we have the man or the cavalier. They are two parts of a picture that come together, and that's the match. We have also here the horseshoe. Just pardon my camera, my tripod shaking. Yeah, we have the, the horseshoe here, 
and we've got to see what else we have. And we have here also the firewood or these logs here. It's important to note the direction in which uh, these logs lie as well as in which direction the pitches face. We have also here the uh, what seems to be the handshake, right? That's exactly it. It's the handshake and it's in the upright position. And so we have the handshake, we have the logs or the firewood, we have the horseshoe and we have also the cavalier here. And so that's basically what we have before us. And I'm going to go right ahead and read the meanings of these cards in this position from the guidebook. And I am then going to give you my own take on it. So let's begin with the Cavalier. The Cavalier is in the position number one. And the period of influence is immediate to short. And it's a symbol for news. And he is pointing downwards, oh sorry, he's pointing right, uh, apologies, yes he's pointing right and so the meaning of it when he's pointing, when he's lying in this direction is unexpected happy news. So let me just read that, that meaning to you. It says this is something you will, this is something you have not been consciously seeking Yet when the news arrives, it'll make you very happy. You may hear your company is moving to a better location, or you may discover that the flu you thought you had is actually a long-awaited pregnancy. The news could also be of a gossipy nature, such as hearing that a politician you hate has been involved in a sex scandal. Generally, you'll be privy to inside information, so the news will excite you. Okay, so that's the position of the man here. So it's quite obvious that... Uh, Whatever it is, it's unexpected and it's happy news. Um, and the I keep calling it the man, but it's actually called the cavalier. And the period of influence here is immediate to short. So this could happen in any time between now and I guess the next three months because we are doing this reading over the next three months from the time at which you access this video. So we also have the firewood here. And uh, the firewood is the number five. And the period of influence is immediate, and it's a symbol for physical health. And it's in a position in which the arrow points downward. And that indicates a good state of health. So, uh, the meaning as is from the book, it states, if you're worried about your health, then you can stop worrying. Everything you're doing is contributing to your physical well-being. Sometimes people get this picture when they're involved in some kind of problem. The picture comes up in this position to assure them that whatever they worry they have is not affecting their health. When older people get this picture, it can be very reassuring to them, even though they are slowing down and not as full of vim and vigor as they used to be. Nevertheless, they are healthy. So that's the meaning as I've read it directly from the book. And what I want to say about this is that if you've been um, struggling with illness for quite some time and which you have not seen the end to uh, or if you fear that you have an autoimmune disease that is not easily diagnosed what I want to say is that this is you need not worry about this because as this time comes about as the cycles are changing as you're ending one cycle and beginning another uh, you're going to find that the symptoms that you have lessen and that you're going to be moving into generally a state of better health and into a state of strength. So that is my um, clairvoyant insight for you as far as that's concerned. So I'm just going to move on to the next uh, meaning here. Well, the next, w w the next thing we have here is the horseshoe. And it's in the position um, of, uh, it's in the position facing down. And the period of influence for the horseshoe is middle, and it's a symbol for success. And in that position, it states that good fortune awaits you. Uh, so it's good fortune or great success awaits you. If during the reading you are asked how a certain idea or proposal of yours will do, and you get this picture in this position, you know that you will meet with success. This could be a job you're applying for, a promotion you've been pushing for, a bid to purchase something, a thesis submission, or an idea that you want to pursue. 
the signal is a green light. Go ahead with your plans, as they will meet with approval and be successful. The period of influence is of middle duration, which means the effects will last anywhere from a few days to a few years. You'll be successful, but not only to the degree that you put effort into it. Um, apologies, sorry. What what it reads is you'll be successful, but only to the degree to the degree that you put effort into it. Don't just sit back and wish for success. Do something to get it. All right. So uh, it says the also it read I'm um, reading on. The picture tells you that your ideas and efforts are worthwhile and will meet with great success if you pursue them. Don't be afraid of ideas that seem different or innovative. The Russians joke by saying, you are not like your fa mother or father, but like the handsome passerby. You have talents that make you different from your family. Use your talents and great success will follow. So this is obviously a very positive card and um, the cards that you have um, received until now are actually very positive. Um, and it's, it's basically telling you that you have luck and the path that you've chosen is basically open for you to walk on uh, and that you will be supported in this and you will have success as long as you put the effort uh, in that is required. So that's pretty self-explanatory there. And um, I'm not getting anything extra in terms of clairvoyant insights, not as yet. So I'm going to move on to the last uh, picture that we have here. And that is the handshake. And the handshake is also quite a positive card in its... Uh, and it's also facing uh, downward here. So it's like in the upright position, but the arrows are facing downward. And the period of influence is middle to life. And it's a symbol for state of the union between two people. So basically what it states is that a strong friendship will be a support to you for your entire life. So I'm going to read the meaning from the book right here. And... Um, it says, a strong friendship will be a support to you for your entire life. This usually is the friendship of the person you are living with or involved with in a strong way. In contrast, the dog picture refers to being strictly friends, even lifelong friends. If you are jealous or worried about your relationship and this picture comes up, then you know your worries are unnecessary. The picture also shows up when you are having other problems. It gives you assurance or reassurance that you may that you have someone to rely on, no matter what problems you might be having. It is a life picture, meaning that the relationship is a lasting one. So basically what I'm gathering from here is that you've got the green light on many areas of your life and that you have very little to be concerned about. The next three months, uh, as well as the future for you, bode really well. And the what might be unexpected is uh, some news that you will receive, which will delight you in the next uh, few months. But basically, uh, you are in a good state and you're in a good space and, and things are working in your favor and all you need to do is just go ahead and enjoy what is before you. And so that is actually the most, uh, I think one of the most positive readings here um, from them all, from all of them that we've done. And it is the shortest. It just has uh, little pockets of delight, uh, little pockets of good, good uh, messages. And so I'm going to go ahead and end this because I don't really get anything else for you aside from the fact that all's going to be well and the challenges that those uh, some of those around you may be facing in this time will not affect you uh, or impact you in any way whatsoever and that you, you are on the right path and you simply need to just go on doing what it is that you have been doing. And so I hope that this reading has been of help to you and I hope that it's actually been, um, yeah, I hope it's put a smile on your face today. I want to thank you for coming by and um, uh, watching this reading. And uh, if, you've, if you're a subscriber or a regular viewer, thank you for, for being there and for the support that you offer me and this channel. And I want to wish you all the best for the next three months ahead and um, many blessings to everyone here today. Thank you and goodbye.